the reclassification of certain Native American individuals and groups as Black or African American by the government is a complex and often contentious issue in U.S. history. This reclassification primarily occurred due to a combination of legal, social, and political factors, particularly during the era of segregation and the enforcement of the One Drop Rule. The One Drop Rule was an informal, socially and legally enforced notion that any person with even one ancestor of African descent is considered black. This rule became particularly influential in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, especially in the South. During the Jim Crow era, state laws in the South rigidly enforced racial segregation. These laws often categorized individuals with both African American and Native American ancestry as black, primarily to maintain the strict racial hierarchy of the time. Some Native American tribes, particularly those in the southeastern United States like the Cherokee, Choctaw, Creek, Seminole, and Chickasaw, collectively known as the Five Civilized Tribes, had intermarried with African Americans. Members of these tribes with African ancestry were often reclassified as black, especially if they had visible African features or were known to have African ancestry. In census records, individuals with both Native American and African American ancestry were often recorded as black or mulatto, a term used at the time to describe mixed-race individuals. This was due to census takers' perceptions and the influence of the one-drop rule. After the Civil War, the former slaves of the five civilized tribes, known as freedmen, were promised citizenship in these tribes. However, over time, issues of racial identity and tribal membership became contentious, with some freedmen and their descendants being reclassified as black and denied tribal membership. The question of identity for individuals with both Native American and African American ancestry continues to be a topic of debate and legal challenges, particularly regarding tribal enrollment and recognition. There have been specific instances where entire communities or groups, such as the Lumbee tribe in North Carolina or certain groups in Virginia, face challenges in their Native American identity being recognized, often being classified as black or of mixed race instead. It's important to note that racial classification in the United States has been influenced by a complex set of social, legal, and political factors and has often been used as a tool for discrimination and disenfranchisement. The reclassification of Native Americans as black is a part of this broader history of racial categorization and its implications. The Cherokee inhabited areas that are now part of Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Alabama. After the Trail of Tears, the majority of the Cherokee were forcibly relocated to Indian Territory, which is now part of Oklahoma. There is also the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, which resides in western North Carolina, descendants of Cherokee who resisted or avoided relocation. The Choctaw primarily lived in what is now Mississippi, with additional communities in Alabama, Louisiana, and Florida. The Choctaw Nation was relocated to Indian Territory, now southeastern Oklahoma. There are also Choctaw communities remaining in Mississippi, known as the Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians. Creek or Muscogee originally occupied a large area of Georgia and Alabama, with historical presence in parts of Florida and South Carolina. The Creek Nation was also moved to Indian Territory, now eastern Oklahoma. Some Creek remained in Alabama and formed the Porch Band of Creek Indians, the only federally recognized tribe in Alabama. The Seminole were primarily located in Florida, having developed from groups of Native Americans, mostly Creek, who migrated there in the 18th century. After several wars with the United States, many Seminole were forcibly removed to Indian Territory. Today, they are primarily in Oklahoma. However, a significant number of Seminole resisted removal and remained in Florida, where they live today, known as the Seminole Tribe of Florida. The Chickasaw traditionally lived in what is now northern Mississippi, western Tennessee, and parts of Kentucky and Alabama. The Chickasaw Nation was relocated to Indian Territory, in what is now central Oklahoma. The Trail of Tears, a series of forced relocations of these tribes in the 1830s, remains a tragic and significant event in U.S. history, reflecting the harsh policies and treatment of Native American tribes by the U.S. government. 
The relocation led to significant loss of life and had lasting impacts on the culture and social structures of these tribes.